The season has officially started for me. I got to cover a full weekend worth of games, and dang, I'm sore, and I didn't even play. Hey guys, it's Josh, the 90 Note All, coming to you today to talk about my weekend. I got to cover four games, Lower Columbia, which is kind of the hometown team for me. Um, I grew up in Longview, which is where they are, are at. I live in Kelso, which is really kind of the same city. Hometown team, got they were playing Spokane Falls, an amazing program, a program I have really come to love the last couple of years. Got to see them, a lot of fun. Before we jump into that, guys, we're gonna take just a minute don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That lets you know when new videos are coming out. I actually got to do seven interviews with Spokane Falls players, and those will be coming out in the next couple weeks. A lot of fun. Great, guys. It's just amazing. Also, don't forget, we have the Patreon. So that way, you can help support 90 Know It All so I can keep doing what I'm doing. You know, just today and yesterday alone, I was able to send out really probably a dozen, two dozen photos to guys for free just to say, you know, hey, here's one for you to have for your social media. Uh, a lot of the guys subscribe to the YouTube channel, which is awesome. But your Patreon support actually helps me to feel okay with sending guys free photos because I know that I still got a financial supporter and backer in the Patreon supporters. So the link is in the description below. Please consider doing that. If you have a player who plays in a, for a team or a league that I photograph, $5 a, a month or more, and I will actually create uh, a page for your player for photos for you can download them and have them for free. So please consider doing that. It, once again, it lets me be confident in the fact that I can give away free photos to players just because, you know, everyone I think deserves to have a photo of them playing uh, sports. That's something I don't have a lot of and I want to give back. But guys, enough about Patreon, enough about subscribing. Let's jump into this. What an awesome weekend. Now, granted, weather on Saturday was not the best. We actually had like a 35, 40 minute hail delay. It was just hailing. I had enough time to run to the grocery store and get gas, fill up my car, uh, ran home, got gloves because I forgot to bring gloves. I didn't think I would need them at that point and do a couple other things and then run back to the game and I missed like one out. Um, so I didn't really miss anything. So weather wasn't great, pretty cold. But it was still fun. It was still good baseball. Uh, yesterday was actually better weather. The sun came out for part of it. Still wasn't warm necessarily, but it was still, it was good. It was much better. Wasn't fighting the rain, wasn't fighting the hail. So I liked it. But what a great series. This was one of the best series for college baseball that I've been able to cover in the last, well, ever. I mean, I've been covering college baseball for the NWAC. This is my sixth season. And I've seen some great series. I've seen some great weekends of baseball, but this one was amazing. I mean, as early in the season as it is, it was still it was still amazing. I mean, yesterday, which was Sunday, the second day of the games, uh, game game one was just a a great pitchers duel. Uh, McCabe Cottrell from Spokane Falls uh, gave went seven innings. I think he gave up one hit in those seven innings, and it was just he, he's an amazing talent. And, you know, going around the other way, Laura Columbia came out with Dakota Hawkins, who he went, I don't remember how many innings he went, but he didn't give up any runs. He was just firing the ball in there. It was a great duel, an amazing pitcher's duel, a lot of fun. I enjoyed watching it. And to be honest, you know, Laura Columbia won three of the four games, but really if you add a hit here for Spokane Falls, take away a hit here for Laura Columbia, and it's Spokane winning three out of four. It was really close. Uh, the very first game, Laura Columbia won on a walk-off home run. So once again, I mean, you take away that hit and give Spokane one hit, you know, one timely hit with a score run, and Spokane wins that game. Second game, I think, was pretty clearly Laura Columbia. They had that one. Uh, they only won by like three, but it was still, it was still pretty much Laura Columbia's game in that one. Game game one of the second day was a one nothing game. Lower Columbia won that one, and really the only run came across because of a misplayed ball in left field, and that was it. I mean, it was just lights out defense. It was shut down pitching. It was great, and so really, you know, a hit here for Spokane, a, 
a misplayed ball by Laura Columbia, and that's a win for Spokane. And in the final game, Spokane came out, and that was pretty much their game. Uh, they dominated that one. It was close. I mean, it wasn't a blowout by any means. I think it was 6-3, to three, something like that. So it wasn't a bad game. I, I think it was actually a great game on both sides. But you just could tell these two teams really were, they're solid. They, and th there's a reason why preseason-wise, they're number one, number two. Spokane was number one. Lower Columbia's number two. I'm guessing after this weekend, that will flip. But, you know, it's, in my mind, I still see those two teams, um, you know, being top-tier teams, front runners to win their their divisions. And, you know, I, I know that teams in the East, like Yakima, will uh, be fighting for that, that division title. I know here in the in the West, you got Tacoma, you got Pierce. Uh, even Centralia's going to come out and be more competitive this year. So you got some teams that are going to be fighting for that spot, but... Man, Lower Columbia and, and Spokane, great pitching, really good hitting, just solid all-around teams. I'm excited to watch them. I love, I love these two programs. These are two of the programs that I've enjoyed the most. Uh, one, Lower Columbia, obviously, this is kind of my hometown area, so I get to spend the most time with them, get to know a lot of the guys. I know the coaches fairly well. Uh, just a great program. I love being around them. So, obviously, they're one of my favorites just because of that and, you know, also because I tend to get some stuff from them, which, you know, I will say any NWAC teams out there, you can buy my love. My love is for sale. A hat, a t-shirt, a sweatshirt. I'm size 2X, just so you know, size large in the hat. Um, but anyways, you know, it's a great program. Spokane Falls, I've just fallen in love with them. If you guys remember last year, I did a video of them throwing the Nerf dart onto... Uh, one of the players' heads and it stuck. That's that video made Sports Center, which I was, you know, that's the second time I've made Sports Center, so that was pretty cool. Well, Spokane Falls, that's a team. The one of the players, or the player, Brendan Duncan, who uh, had the the funky haircut, he's actually one of the seven interviews I did. So I'll get that out there. Love that. A lot of fun. You know, surprisingly enough, as goofy as he is, his interview, he's very very calm, very focused. He's a good ball player. So I'm, I'm very lucky to have gotten a chance to talk with him and the rest of the guys from Spokane. But yeah, it's a great weekend. It was a lot of fun. Enjoyed it. Uh, looking at the rest of the NWAC, there's been you know, quite a few games going on. Most of the teams uh, have played at least you know three, four games. Some of them are up to six, I think even seven, eight games for a few of the teams. Uh, big shout out to Umqua. It's their first season back being a baseball program. And they've already won games and shown that they're going to be competitive uh, throughout the league, which is great. It's great to see teams come in, um, be competitive. Umqua kind of has a special place in my heart. A uh, member of their team, Connor Lang, has been one of the 99 know it all favorites. Uh, someone I've known for almost the whole time that I've been doing 99 know it all So I think I've known him now, what, six years at least? So... Love watching him play. Excited that he's a part of that program. So it's it's cool. It's exciting to see that. Uh, I love college baseball. You guys know I've talked about it on past videos that college baseball is, in my opinion, the best level of baseball, hands down, for the all-around package that you get. You get talented players. You get good seats. I mean, let's be honest. Outside of maybe some of the, the major programs that have bigger stadiums, there is not a college game you're going to go to and have a bad seat. There just isn't. You know, even if they don't have bleachers, you bring lawn chairs and throw lawn chairs out. But like for Lower Columbia, you know, I think the main area behind home plate is what, maybe 10 rows deep. That's it. They have seats along the uh, third base line. You have picnic benches along the first base line, a little party deck in, in left field. And they're all right there on the fence. You get great views. It's just great. I love college baseball. It's the best, hands down. And the fact that I get to cover NWAC here in the Northwest, oh, it's it's amazing. It's amazing. It's amazing to know that I can go into really just about any stadium and people there will know who I am. They'll welcome me. They'll talk with me. And that means a lot to me. It means a lot. That's why I love going to Lower Columbia. The parents know who I am. That's why I enjoy being around like Centralia because the players, a lot of them are from Longview, Kelso, and Castle Rock. Guys I've gotten to see and talk to the last couple years, so they know who I am. You know, I really want to travel to Spokane. I really want to travel up to Everett and catch games up there because um, it's just 
it's great. It's a great atmosphere, great baseball, a lot of fun. And, you know, at the end of May, I'll be covering the NWAC championships uh, once again. This will be my sixth season covering that. So it's been awesome. I love it. You know, and just being able to sit here and talk about it is is an honor for me. It's it's great. So I love it. And like I said, over and over again, it's the best. So guys, quick recap of the NWAC. You know, like I said, there's been some great games going on. Centralia has gotten some wins. Everett's gotten some wins and, and kind of coming through. But it's still early. So you'll see teams kind of struggle, trying to find their groove, trying to get things going. And that's understandable. I mean, this is still, you know, technically non-conference play, non-division play. So... Yeah, you want to win every game, but more importantly right now, the teams are looking to see what they have, who's going to become their starting lineup, you know, which guys are going to step up, which guys aren't going to cut it. And it's important to know those things before you get rolling into the main bulk of your schedule. So great way to kick it off. Tomorrow night, I'll actually be covering Lower Columbia uh, versus Clackamas. And then then on Saturday, well, actually Friday and Saturday, Another four-game set, I've got Lower Columbia versus Lane. So that's going to be a good one. Lane is one of the, the solid programs down the south region. So I'm excited for that. You know, just more baseball. Just more baseball. Love being around it. And really, in my opinion, NWAC, one of the best conferences in America, just because of the talent they have, the coaches they have, and just the tradition that this program has. So... Guys, I'm Josh, the Night Know It All. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, I will have more videos coming out every day, especially doing interviews with Spokane Falls players. I should have the first one out, hopefully by Wednesday. And uh, guys, they're good interviews. They're fun. The guys are smart. They're relaxed. I enjoyed it. So this, once again, Josh, the Night Know It All. Have a good day, guys.